G'day guys, it's Matt here from Appliance Testing Supplies. I just want to give you guys some helpful hints on testing these uh, AC-DC power supplies. Uh, you find them on iPhones, uh, low voltage equipment, however they are, um, or they do need to be electrically tested. And I'll take you through some processes. Okay, the first thing we need to do guys is to check visually if there's any heat or any damage whatsoever. So looking at these, you can pull them apart and have a look to see if there's any damage in there. Close her up and then carry on. Okay, what we need to do is actually make contact with the metal parts inside in the low voltage section. And as you can see, this will not fit into there. So what we can do is use a USB lead to connect to the metal parts. What we've got here, guys, is a USB-A to USB-B lead. You'll have a rectangular side that'll fit into your charger, and the other side is what we use to connect a return lead into the metal components inside. Okay, from here, we plug it into here, and then into the portable appliance tester. With the USB-B side, we place the return lead inside, making contact with both positive and negative, and we'll be conducting an insulation resistance test of 500 volts DC through the device. Now we've made the connection, we go through to simple test and select class two. Proceed. And the test is complete. A leakage current test can also be performed on these AC adapters. However, just make sure you're connecting to the outside of your USB and then conduct the leakage current test by going to simple test, class two leakage, proceed, and the test is now complete. Thanks for watching.